Hey, what's up? You might get a little wind. I'm gonna keep this video very short. I mean, really short because it's windy. I'm walking out here and I don't want to drive people's eardrums crazy with that. Not sure how the volume will be. Anyhow, really nice day outside here. Um, point of this video was this. Video, the channel's got a lot of traffic. You know, we're getting a lot more traffic now all of a sudden. I'm getting a lot more traffic. Yeah, it's cool, I appreciate it. Thank you for the new subs. Thank you for the likes, thank you for the comments and the discussion. I have to say I'm not like super thrilled with some of the comments though. Um, again, it doesn't hurt my feelings. It's just like, I'm, I'm kind of tired of, okay, I'm kind of tired of just saying the same things over and over again and kind of continuously hearing and seeing um, that I'm an excuse maker. Look up the definition of a reason and look up the definition of excuse and then look up what's the difference between an excuse and a reason or what's the difference between a reason and an excuse Do either or doesn't matter look it up a reason is something that can be defended by logic an excuse is something that can't be so when somebody tells you that i should go and be a, a roofer and be banging on the roof and uh doing things because he knows a 37 year old immigrant who came over here with no skills of you know language i should say um you know like didn't understand english but he's able to do roofing even though he never did it before that's great i mean does he have tendonitis does he have bilateral tendonitis does it cause him to have tendon binding does it cause him to have carpal tunnel syndrome look all those three things up okay you can't lift weight can't bang tools you can't do things with intense vibrations like like even like low vibrations to be honest like it's it's so it's weird it's it does it's like it's like this is the reason why i started making these videos because i'm stuck between a rock and a hard place and a hard place and a hard place and then and then again hearing from the same kind of doofus that my pride is getting in the way my pride because i have a degree uh, pretty sure I was working in a call center when I had the degree and continued to work there. Okay. Like for a year after I got my degree, it's not like I started, like, like I got up and left cause I was so proud of my degree. Pretty sure that I've worked minimum wage jobs the entire time. Okay. When I was nine credits short out of a 90 credit degree, I could have gone back got the nine credits. I could have just lied and said they had a degree and said, Oh, well, you know, I'm finishing it. I could have said it was in progress right? But I couldn't get a job. Nobody would hire me for anything but minimum wage. So I've worked minimum wage jobs, pride or not, for the last like 15 to 20 years. And if it's not minimum wage, it's been awfully close to it. So all these things where it's like I'm making excuses, like I don't get it. Like it's like, hmm, let me think. I have a bilateral arm injury, which prevents me from lifting any weight, really beyond three pounds and prevents me from using vibrating tools and doing things of that nature okay so no lifting no banging no vibrating kind of takes out of the construction field kind of can't do anything can't even like use a lawnmower to do lawn maintenance these are all the atypical jobs that guys do and this is where the whole like sexism thing comes in i can't do atypical like jobs that you would expect a guy to do because they all involve your arms and your hands and lifting or banging or pushing and pulling and, and I can't do that for at least another year I would guess if not the rest of my life it's already been a year and a half almost two years usually things don't get better if it's been over six months it's called chronic at that point I have a chronic illness now you know it's I've never I've been working since I was 14 years old so just shy of 30 years because of this injury okay like a uh I work dual jobs I walked between places when I didn't have a car. When it was feasible to walk between places. In the city I live in right now, you cannot really walk to anything except for what's in your like immediate block in your immediate neighborhood. I would take you for a walk around here and show you what's here, but I feel like that's like gonna be breaking some laws. So we're not gonna do that. Like like the whole thing is just uh stupid. Like what do I wanna do? Do I wanna work at the laundromat that shut down? The bar that shut down? How about the pizza parlor that I asked and they wouldn't hire me? How about the convenience store that the guy bought from the failing previous owner that is now struggling and he, he's having a hard time and he's, you know, I mean, I feel for him and he's a nice guy, but like, it looks like I don't think he's going to want to stick around. He's been there for like 
three, four months. And he's already wanting to sell it and get rid of it. It's because there's nothing going on <laughs> in the city I live in. And I live in the Niagara region. You would think that in the region that's right by the border where most Canadians live, there'd be some action, but there isn't. There's good jobs in the city, which is at least an hour away from here. I don't have a car. Another, another thing on my list of excuses, according to you, right? That's a reason I don't have a car, right? I'm not willing to take a bus. It's true. I guess that there's the logic there. You can po poke, poke a hole in my logic. I don't want to take a bus for like potentially <laughs> three to four hours one way. Basically spending a shift on a bus to spend a shift at work makes no sense. But yes, you're right. Faulty logic, right? Um, you're also right. My logic is so flawed because like, I don't want to get a job that won't like actually pay a wage that I can support myself on. Like I can't live with my parents forever. My sister's moving out in like, what, what is it today? When's it? In like a few days, she's gone. I mean, they're not going to stay in this apartment very long. They're probably going to downsize. I cannot see them staying in an apartment the size that we have for just them two and me when I never leave my little tiny room. So I probably have to go somewhere because they're going to probably downsize. I have nowhere to go. I have no car. I have no savings left because I haven't worked. I, I keep saying in like, I think I keep saying like almost three years, but it's, yeah, it's been about like, it's two and a half, okay? Um, the last job I had was, I have screwed up a date, so I will correct that right now in this video. But yeah, one of the last jobs I had was at Walmart and that was actually at, that was in 2022. So it was actually more recent than I thought. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm coming up on now the two year anniversary of like me being injured. Like it just doesn't, <laughs> like it's not getting better. So injury, no money, no savings, no credit. My family is broke. Uh, they don't have any money to lend me. I don't have any friends that want to lend me any money. I've talked to at least three job agencies around here. I'm talking to one in the city. Nobody is getting anything for me. I'm a middle-aged man in their 40s and they have all these international students they can pick from in their 20s. Why would they pick me? Again, I guess that's another another excuse, right? Another excuse, forget the logic. Like, it's, it's just wild. Um, I'm expected to like rub two sticks together, like I keep saying in every video, and like all of a sudden have something. Like, again, do you not see all the cars behind me? That's because people use cars to get around, it helps them get to work, right? If I got a decent job in the next city over, that's the thing, listen, look, like half the jobs I've been applying to out of the 1,500, 2,000 jobs I've applied to aren't even in this city. They're outside of the city. What do I do if they give me an opportunity and I actually get to get a job with one of them I get an interview I don't have a vehicle to even get there every day so I'm applying to stuff that I shouldn't even be applying to but I'm so desperate for work that I'm applying to anything and everything that comes up that I think I can do but I'm just making excuses it's so stupid man people are so ignorant and want to cut you down no matter what I've done so many crappy things that I hated things that I would never have done, things that made me hate myself to earn a paycheck. Why would I stop now? I, I don't get it. Like I did it for two decades, okay? Like if, if it was a reasonable ask, why would I stop now? It's, it's not a reasonable ask. People want you to work for a slave 